In the one word storage, we have a whole world of architectural possibilities, decisions, choices, and so forth. Uh, when we talk about storage, um, we, you know, generally think about, uh, okay, disk storage files and so on. But, I mean, we've got a, an awful lot of uh, possibilities there. There is primary storage, the storage on the computer itself, and there is secondary storage. Again, mostly uh, disks, but uh, these days disks, you know, you've got solid state drives and... and uh, stuff like that. So you have to think about, you know, what the possibilities are. Um, you know, particularly as we get into uh, application security, and we'll we'll talk more about some of these issues um, when we get into that domain. But um, you know, let's start with uh, the basics. Uh, there are the registers. Uh, on the CPU. Now, that's not an awful lot of storage, but it's some. Um, there is the uh, cache memory, where we are uh, a uh, sort of a hybrid uh, between the, the registers directly on the CPU and the main memory of the computer. So we have cache memory, which is faster so that we can do uh, some swapping out of the registers at higher speeds than are accessible uh, through the main memory. Then there's the main memory. And then there's the, the possibility of, of virtual memory in things like disk cache or paging. And uh, so as we get into those, we have to look at the address space, um, how uh, the addressing is done, uh, for all of these different types. And once we get into uh, those areas, of course, we have to look at object reuse. And do we have a very highly classified system? Uh, do we have uh, passwords contained in memory, which we do not want uh, accessible to other programs? Are those areas of memory protected? Are those areas of memory protected from being shuttled out to uh, paging or the disk cache uh, so that they are written out to, uh, you know, the, the, the disk drive. Um, and uh, when, when we look at that and issues of paging, um, in terms of object reuse, it's not just only have you, you know, when you're done with that particularly sensitive information um, wiped it out of memory. Uh, do you erase it, uh, or do you simply reallocate the memory? And you know, there's uh, questions there. But once we get into disk caching, are we relying on the operating system to do our paging for us? And if we are relying on the operating system doing our paging, then is the uh, operating system going to overwrite that data um, when it says that it's erased or is it just simply going to say that this space on the disk is available for reuse and it's it's more probably going to be the latter so you know is this good enough do we need to protect it from being uh, part of uh, uh, caching and, and paging um, in order to uh, prevent uh, object reuse um, in, in terms of, you know, somebody being able to, to access the disk drive. Uh, and, and it, well, you know, we'll get into this more in operations, I suppose, but uh, just when I got into this game and, and was looking at object reuse, um, the, uh, uh, you know, when you need a, uh, like a scanning tunneling microscope to, uh, uh, to do this type of, uh, reading of, of overwritten material. But at, you know, when I got in 20, more than 20 years ago, um, there were at least a thousand scanning tunneling microscopes in North America that, that, you know, could have been used for this kind of purpose. And, uh, they were able to read back um, you know, 32 generations of overwriting. 
and I, I believe the uh, you know the military uh, decided that three was enough and seven was you know really too, super top secret if you wanted to do that so you know again once again you know it's it's always the decision of of how secure is the information how how much security do you need how confidential is is this stuff um, anyways uh, back into to memory uh, the memory management that we have to do um, uh, relocation um, and we're, we're talking a bit here about address space layout randomization um, uh, the uh, protection uh, uh, one of the protections of of uh, the memory, and you know, there are others in terms of you know direct access to the memory. That you know, these areas of memory just aren't accessible except to certain functions. Um, looking at the logical organization again, we go back to the object reuse because we get into issues of logical, relative, and physical addressing. Um, the the logical addressing you know gets us very close to the virtual memory and so again you know we've got issues of paging uh the relative addressing are we addressing a certain bank from a certain starting point and and are we locked in there uh that in a sense gives us a certain level of protection not entirely but uh possible um and then the physical uh uh, addressing where you just you know you know the address of every piece of information individually on on the computer um, the the virtual memory and even the paging can can be addressed via physical uh, addressing so uh, again um, uh, okay back to uh, the relocation the address space layout randomization and is that randomized i mean this is meant to avoid issues of uh buffer overflows and again we'll talk more about that in uh, uh application security and issues of um uh, no op sleds and, and things like that anyway um so randomizing the the address space so that we put things in uh different places so that um p attackers aren't sure of you know going to a particular memory location now there is an inherent problem in that in that the firmware on the machine expects the operating system to start at a certain point so you know we always have uh that as a limitation um, the other limitation is the uh, uh, is the randomization truly random when you reallocate and, and relocate uh, uh, functions blocks uh, programs and and so forth uh, recently uh, somebody attacked a, uh, a SLR system um, in, in terms of being able to predict where certain pieces were going to be placed and, and was able to do that very effectively. So we, we do have to always, you know, once again, you know, it's, it's down to is this, uh, you know, how secure do we want to be? How confidential is this? Uh, how sensitive is this information? And doing the appropriate thing in in terms of protecting uh, everything that falls into that one category of storage.